In this video, I'm going to show you how to bend the outside corner for a drip edge flashing. I've also got another video I'll link below on how to do an inside corner. These are small details that will make your look roof look nice, as well as making sure that it stays waterproof and watertight. So when I say outside corner, what I mean is this is an outside corner where the 90 degrees is on the outside and we want to bend it to wrap this corner right here. The first thing we're going to do is mark it both on the top here and I also want to give it a small mark here at the bottom. The idea here is to get a clean outside corner because this drip edge is going to be extremely visible. Once I've got this marked here on the corner, if you're a beginner, you can use a square to mark yourself a straight line. However, if you have years of experience like most our roofers, they can just eyeball this and cut it by hand. Now we want to cut the top of this drip edge using your metal shears. First thing we're doing is cut a straight line. The next thing I like to do is cut a small angle. And I just eyeball this. Getting this cut and out of the way is going to allow us to bend it to the exact angle that we want. Now we're not ready to bend just yet. The last thing we want to do is make a relief cut here down here at the bottom. This is the kick of the drip edge, which allows the water to flow off as opposed to on the fascia board. But this is going to stop us from getting a nice clean bend. So I want to verify my measurement by using my square. And you can see actually I had a little bit of a discrepancy. So I'm level here, or I'm even here. I want to make a nice mark. Generally, we like to use pencils as opposed to markers, uh, but for the video purposes, I'll be using this marker just so it's clear. We're gonna make a little nick right there. Now that uh, we have the cuts done, we're ready to bend this corner. You can see, even without any guidance, I can easily bend that, get a nice clean line. But now that I install it, we have a clean, straight 90 degree bend. The last thing I wanna emphasize is when you fold this in, what you want to do is make sure you fold it the other way, like this. This is the triangle that we cut out. If you remember this piece that we cut out right here, the reason we did it is so that this end doesn't come all the way here. Leave a comment below if you have any other questions or if you have any other tips or tricks that you like to use while installing Drip Edge.